Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of me plight, and at the time of writing I am not a pretty sight. Me body is all black and blue, me face a deathly gray, and I write this note to say why Patty's not at work today. While working on the fourteenth floor, some bricks I had to clear. Now to throw them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he being an awkward sod. He'd said I'd have to cart them down the ladders in me hud. Well, clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured the rope below. When in me haste to do this job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. Well, I shot up like a rocket, till to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. The barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it sped, and when I hit the top, I banged the pulley with me head. Still I clung on tight, though numb with shock from this almighty blow, and the barrel spilled out half the bricks, fourteen floors below. Now when these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel, and so started down once more. Still clinging tightly to the rope, I sped toward the ground, and landed on the broken bricks that were all scattered round. As I lay there on the ground, I thought I'd passed the worst, when the barrel hit the pulley wheel, and then the bottom burst. Well, a shower of bricks rained down on me, I hadn't got a hope. As I lay there moaning on the ground, I let go the bloody rope. The barrel then being heavier, it started down once more, and landed right across me as I lay upon the floor. Well, it broke three ribs and my left arm, and I can only say, that I hope you'll understand why Patty's not at work today.